All right, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up your OPR game uh, properly, I think in the best way, on Tabletop Simulator. First, you have to um, go to the workshop and start uh, subscribing to things that have models. You just type in, you know, I'm going to work with Space Dwarves. So I look for Space Dwarves, and now I go into it. I load it. I get the models. I pick the ones that I want, and then once I get them all, all the models that I feel like I can use, I then go to Save Objects right here, and then I type in what I want. I already have some saved up, so you can see here, um, I've got this right here, and so I'm going to be working with this Dwarf Army list. And then what you need to do let me get rid of this. Um, you go to your uh, Army Forge, you make your list, you click the eyeball, and you get this thing. And then, instead of printing it out, you go to Share as Link. Copy the link, and then go to Tombola's OPR Army Forge to TTS rule. Uh, it's opr-af-to-tts.netfly, netfly, excuse me, n-e-t-l-i-f-y dot app. And, uh, and then you just put that, let's see, let's get rid of this. And then you copy that link that you got from Army Forge, paste it in here, import it, and then you'll get all this stuff here. You go to the bottom. Generate shareable link. I know it's a lot of steps, but you can pause it at any time so that you can get it to work. Take this one. This is an extra step. And now you go into 40K. You have to get this mod here from the workshop, Tombola's OPR AF to TTS Army. And then Control V, which you copied. And then you'll see you've got this stuff over here on the side. So now I'm going to get my Dwarf Army, drop them right there, get rid of this. And so now I've got my APC. So I click on this APC. You can see right now if I hover over to it, it's these weird stats. But if I click on APC here and then I cl left click on to here, next time I scroll over it, hold on. Let me get the this thing back. You could see it's got the stats. See how it's four, two, and there we go. And you've got all the uh, the stats right there. Um, any weapons? So when you're you just scroll over it, you get every single um, stat. So you don't have to look it up. You don't even need a data sheet to. Uh, to play this game now. Everything is on there and every model can be assigned. So this is my mortar thunder support. So let's see, thunder support here. I click on this. I click on that. Click, 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 click. And now these guys are thunder support with mortars. And I just go through and assign all the uh, things. So I've got regulars. Let's see. Uh, dwarf Warriors that are regular rifle. So I click on this guy. And then Dwarf Rifle. And you can see just how this works. See, before, if I, if I scroll over it, there's nothing. But once I assign it, I get all the stats for that Dwarf Warrior. And then, of course, you save it again. You just highlight everything. Right-click. Save Objects. And then you, you just name it whatever you want. And then when you click objects at the top of the screen up here, and then you get this thing here, you click on saved objects. And then you just click on the army when you're ready to use it. So, you know, once you save it in here, then you go to your game board, whatever it is. So let's say I pick uh, this one right here. Now, if you don't save your army, it's going to get lost. So let's say we're playing here, and I want to set up my army. I'll just go up to the top here, click on objects. I know you can't see it. 
And then I've got this thing, Save Objects. I click on my army, and then I could just place it right here. Get rid of that. And as you can see, all the stats are on there. And I'm ready to play my game. I don't need any data sheets. Um, and this uh, game makes it super easy. So, you know, if I move it here and I want to move it again, it shows how, you know, how many inches. If I just want to measure from the model, oops, excuse me. Uh, you know, how far you could shoot. And then, of course, you roll dice and you've got all the tokens and everything on here on a lot of these maps. So I highly recommend learning the game on Tabletop Simulator before you totally commit. I mean, you could do this with... Uh, uh, Warhammer, but I don't know how you can get the stats assigned so easily. I do know OPR has that mod and they put it on there, which makes it super easy just to see, okay, this guy is fast, so I can move him um, 16 inches so that I just move this guy over here 16 inches. Uh, get it. And bam, I made my move. Next up. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with Tabletop Simulator, uh, especially playing with the dwarves before the dwarves come out. And I look forward to playing more of this game. It's not as, I don't think it's as much fun as the real thing, but it gives you a lot of opportunities to play uh, at times that you may not be able to play with people that are not really close to, you know, nearby and uh, just allows you to get the experience of the game and really get into it so that you know which models you want to print and paint and play. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope it helps some people get into Tabletop Simulator. If you have any questions, just go ahead and put it into the comments. And uh, happy gaming.